Cleveland is not a stranger to putting on major events. And we take pride in putting on these, those events and making them successful. Everything that we've done in Cleveland and we've been successful at, we've done as one community. And Cleveland scheduling another year in the national spotlight. Community leaders coming together on Public Square today to celebrate our city being chosen to host the 2021 NFL draft. Now, of course, we've been here before, right? Like he said, no stranger hosting the 2016 Republican National Convention and the MLB All-Star Game in just weeks. A big time. Still, the NFL draft, the kind of exposure a city can only dream of. So what can we learn from NFL drafts in years past? News 5's Jordan Vandenberg talked with Nashville city leaders who offered us some advice. Over the past several years, the NFL draft has become quite the spectacle, both in terms of what you can see on TV as well as what you can see in person. And it's brought huge crowds along the way. In Philadelphia, it was about 250,000 people. In Dallas, it was about 200,000 people. And then this past April in Nashville, it was a whopping 600,000 people. That's enough to fill nine First Energy stadiums. With all those people flooding your city, there are bound to be a few things you can learn along the way. The 2019 NFL Draft is now officially open. The NFL Draft had the Music City rolling. With the first pick. And 20 months from now, it will have Cleveland rocking. It was tough explaining to the community what was coming because just saying big, didn't do it justice. Butch Spearden knows it because he's lived it and he's survived it. After 11 months of preparation and three days of execution, the president and CEO of Nashville's Convention Visitors Corporation finally has had time to assess what it meant to host the NFL draft. Chance to do something on a world-class level or world-class stage uh, that most cities don't get a chance to do. The 2019 draft set a new record in direct spending from those who attended, a whopping $132 million. Cleveland will have the added bonus of more lead time than Nashville had. But Spiridon says it is vital for Cleveland city and tourism officials to communicate. The balance between security at their level, Super Bowl Homeland security level, and disrupting offices, residents, and businesses there's a balance. We got there, but it took a lot out of, us, out of both of us. Spearden says it will be important for planners to not be afraid of spending money. If it boosts fan experience, invest in it. Most of the time, people get into, oh my God, this is so expensive. We got to start cutting. And we tend to do the, if we're going to do this, if we're going to be pregnant, we're going to deliver the prettiest, healthy baby that we can. We're not going to go, oh my gosh, we can't afford college. The home of rock and roll can learn a lot from the home of country music. And while it may be tempting to try to copy Nashville's NFL draft success, Spearden says Cleveland should remain true to itself. I said this to somebody else from Cleveland. Do Cleveland. In Cleveland, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.